In this video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to evaluate limits using factoring. On the first example, we have limit of 5x over x squared minus 2x as x approaches 0. If we are going to substitute directly the value of x, we will end up with 0 over 0 or indeterminate. But if we are going to use factoring to solve the given expression, we are going to have limit of 5x over, since x squared minus 2x is factorable, so the factors of x squared minus 2x is x and x minus 2. If we are going to multiply x and x minus 2, we are going to have x squared minus 2x. So let us have x times x minus 2 as x approaches 0. So let us cancel x. Let's have limit of 5 over x minus 2 as x approaches 0. So let us substitute the value of x. So let's have 5 over x that is 0 minus 2. So our answer is 5 over 0 minus 2 is negative so this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have limit of x squared plus 3x minus 10 all over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. If we are going to use direct substitution, we are going to have 0 over 0. But if we are going to find the factors of this expression, let's have limit of x squared plus 3x minus 10 is factorable. So the factors of x squared plus 3x minus 10. So the factors of x squared, that is x and x. And the factors of negative 10. If we multiply, we can get negative 10. And if we add, we can get 3. So that is positive 5 and negative 2. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. And 5 minus 2 is 3. So let us have x plus 5 times x minus 2 all over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. So let us cancel this one. Let's have limit of x plus 5 as x approaches 2. So the value of x is 2. So let's have x plus 5 that is 2 plus 5. So our limit is 7. So this will be our answer. On number 3, we have limit of x squared minus 9 all over x minus 3 as x approaches 3. So let us find the factors of x squared minus 9. So the factors of x squared, that is x and x, and the factors of negative 9, if we multiply, we can get negative 9, and if we add, we can get 0. So that is positive 3 and negative 3. So let's have limit of x squared minus 9. That is x plus 3 times x minus 3 all over x minus 3 as x approaches 3. So let us cancel x minus 3. And we have limit of x plus 3 as x approaches so to simplify our answer, let us substitute the value of x, that is x plus 3, we have 3 plus 3, and our answer is 6. So this will be our answer. On example number 4, we have limit of x cubed minus 8 all over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. So as you can see, x cubed minus 8 is written in the form of a cube minus b cube and a cube minus b cube that is a minus b multiplied by a square plus a b plus b square so let's have x cube minus 8 so the cube root of x cube is x and the cube root of 8 is so the value of a 
is x and the value of b is 2. So we have a square that is x square and a b that is x and 2 or we have 2x and b that is 2 we have 4 because we have b square. So let us write x cubed minus 8 as x minus 2 times x square plus 2x plus 4. So we have the limit of x minus 2 times x square plus 2x plus 4 over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. So let us cancel this one and let's have limit of x square plus 2x plus 4 as x approaches 2. So to simplify our answer, let us substitute the value of x. So we have 2 square plus 2 times 2 plus 4. 2 raised to 2, that is 4. And 2 times 2 is 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4 plus 4, that is 12. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have limit of 4 minus x all over x squared minus 16 as x approaches 4. So if we are going to find the factors of x squared minus 16, we are going to have the factors of x squared is x and x. And the factors of negative 16, if we multiply, we can get negative 16. And if we add, we can get 0. That is positive 4 and negative 4. So let us rewrite x squared minus 16 as x plus 4 times x minus 4. So we have limit of 4 minus x all over x plus 4 and x minus 4 as x approaches 4. So let us rewrite 4 minus x in the form of x minus 4. So we have 4 minus x is same as negative 1 times x minus 4. So if we are going to multiply negative 1 and x minus 4, we are going to have 4 minus x. And that is limit of negative 1 times x minus 4 all over x plus 4 times x minus 4 as x approaches 4. So we can cancel x minus 4 and we are going to have limit of negative 1 over x plus 4 as x approaches 4. So to simplify our answer, let us substitute the value of x. We have negative 1 over x that is 4 plus 4. So our final answer is negative 1 over 4 plus 4 is 16 and this will be our answer. On example number 6, we have limit of x squared minus x minus 12 all over x squared plus x minus 20 as x approaches 2. So let us find the factors of x squared minus x minus 12. So what are the factors of x squared? So that is x and x. What about the factors of negative 12? If we multiply, we can get negative 12. And if we add, we can get negative 1. So that is negative 4 and positive 3. So that is negative 4 times 3. That is negative 12. And negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. What about x squared plus x minus 20? So the factors of x squared is x and x. What about the factors of negative 20? If we multiply, we can get negative 20, and if we add, we can get positive 1. So that is positive 5 and negative 4. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20, and 5 minus 4 is 1. So let us substitute this information to our given expression. So we have limit of x squared minus x minus 12, that is x minus 4 times x plus 3 all over x squared plus x minus 20 that is x plus 5 times x 
minus 4 as x approaches 2. So we can cancel x minus 4 and we have limit of x plus 3 over x plus 5 as x approaches 2. So we can substitute the value of x that is 2 plus 3 over 2 plus 5. 2 plus 3 that is 5 and 2 plus 5 is 7 and this will be our answer. On our last example, we have limit of 2x squared minus x minus 3 all over x plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. So let's find the factors of 2x squared minus x minus 3. As you can see, the value of a is 2. And to find the factors of this expression, let's multiply 2 and negative 3. That is negative 6. So what are the factors of negative 6? If we multiply, we can get negative 6. And if we add, we can get negative 1. And that is negative 3 and positive 2. So let's have 2x squared. And let us put first 2 in order for us to find the factors of 2x squared and 2. And that is 2x minus 3x minus 3. If we simplify this one, we are going to have negative x. So let us find the factors by group. So 2x squared plus 2x, the greatest common factor is 2x. And 2x squared divided by 2x is x. 2x divided by 2x is 1. And the greatest common factor of negative 3x minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3x divided by negative 3 that is x, and negative 3 divided by negative 3, that is positive 1. So the factors of 2x squared minus x minus 3 is x plus 1 and 2x minus 3. So let's have limit of 2x squared minus x minus 3, that is x plus 1 times 2x minus 3. So let's have x plus 1 times 2x minus 3 all over x plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. So let us cancel x plus 1 and let's have limit of 2x minus 3 as x approaches negative 1. And to simplify our answer, let us substitute the value of x which is negative 1. Let's have 2 times negative 1 minus 3. 2 multiplied by negative 1, that is negative 2 minus 3. And negative 2 minus 3, that is negative 5. And this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.